Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the Blackwell Epiphany. And in the last episode, guys, things got a little bit more melancholy than normal because we discovered the ghost of a little girl. A little girl by the name of Kendra. And if you have played the awesome Watchet Eye point and click adventure game Unavowed, probably seemed a little bit familiar because that is indeed KK, um, who is a spirit companion in that incredible adventure. Now, this is kind of a prequel of just how KK became a ghost, so I'm kind of curious to see what happens because I played the Unavowed before the Black Will came, so that kind of came out of nowhere for me and took me a bit to realize it. But uh, yeah, we just finished talking to Kendra's father, Emil, here at the apartment, and I think we should go ahead and probably send Joey through and see what other info we can get. Awesome. That thing needs a date with a needle and thread, or a fireplace. Emil didn't seem to be in very good shape. Lots of books on accounting and business management. Oh, and a couple of comic books. Ooh, Joey has a nice opinion of comic books. That's nice. Some kind of oil painting, I think. I can't tell what it's supposed to be. A phone, I think. It's hard to tell these days. To back room. Photograph? Uh. It's Emil. He looks leagues different than the sad sack we've been talking to. Yeah, it looks like a completely different character. Wow. I guess that's the date the picture was taken? October 29th. That's definitely the little girl I saw. I guess that hat belongs to her mother. He is a cop, all right. She must have still been a beat cop when this was taken. Okay. Can we head back here? Is that possible? Emil is in here, lying on the bed and staring at the ceiling. I should just leave him alone. Hopefully he doesn't do anything rash. Is there anything we can do with that date? Um... Get over here, I got something to say. Uh-huh, what's up? Poor guy, he seems pretty bitter about things, but it's hard to blame him. Yeah. I've never been a family man, but I know fathers can get pretty touchy when it comes to their daughters. So you think Emil is involved somehow? Dunno, but who knows what a guy in his position would do. Kids. They're always the hard ones. Really? I know life and death ain't fair, but kids? They should get a spook-free pass. No kid should ever be lost like that. Cold and alone. Yeah. We gotta track down this Leah person one way or another. Why would George get so worked up over a church? Churches can be more than just a building. For some, I guess. Fancy uptown address, the cops being cagey, this George Austin must be a pretty big deal. Guy like that must have some enemies. Who could hate him enough to do that to him? Nobody I want to meet. Yeah. To rend someone's spirit? Shred it, or whatever? Maybe I should snoop around Emil's place, see what I can see. Hmm, but I already did. I didn't see anything else. Double check one more time. I'm not just gonna blow on everything I see. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. And, hmm. Well, let's go ahead and exit out here. Can Joey go through? There's nothing in that alley worth looking at. I'll just use the door, thank you very much. Okay. Let's head out this way. Let's just go backwards. See what we can find. Why are we still? Why, why do we still need to be here, though? Cartoon screens, headphones. Huh? 
pie again. Mm hmm Is there a way I can get into the manager's office? Um, did he give you permission to go in there? Yes, yes he did. Oh, then he should have given you the code. Code? Yeah, for the keypad next to the door. Oh. You wouldn't know what the code to the door is. No, nobody ever told it to me. Sorry. Thanks. Sure. I didn't even notice the keypad. Okay. Um. How many? One, two, three, four. It's. Oh, okay. What was it 10, 29? Bam, look at that. Well, that's pleasant. Okay, oh, the screensaver did not turn back on. I don't need to take Emil's calendar. I barely use the one I have. Emil's calendar is full of various meetings, appointments, and due dates. None of it means anything to me, but he's labeled every weekend with the word Kendra. Piles of discarded papers. They don't seem relevant. I just want to check because something that doesn't mean a whole lot to Joey can mean a lot to Rosa. The words quarterly earnings are written on the cover. All keys. According to the label, this is a key to Leah's house. According to the label, this should get me into Leah Piero's house. Awesome. Huh, another my phone upgrade is coming out in six months. Didn't one just come out last week? It says, call Joe. I don't need to use someone else's phone. Oh, we can check the emails, okay. Leah might be just a police officer, but she has a secure and stable income. You do not. Your promotion to manager of the new Abacus is a good first step. Keep at it for a few more years. Then we can talk about getting more custody. J letter MRY law. You sure about this online game, Trollgate or whatever it's called? Do I have to tell you about all the creeps that hang out online? She's determined to play the theme on the piano, so at least there's that. Perhaps it's harmless. You know more about this stuff than me. Just make sure she doesn't do anything stupid, okay? Leah. Emil, got a new shipment of the Parental Eye software coming your way. Could you try and upsell it? Maybe to overly paranoid NYU parents? The boss is desperate to get rid of the stuff. Mark it down to whatever you want. For all networking and security needs, contact Tomo. Emil, I got a copy of that Parental Eye software you recommended. I installed it on Kendra's computer, and now my computer and yours can read her email. You just need to install it on your office computer and you're in business. Maybe you're right. This is a huge breach of trust, and she'd kill me if she found out. She's a smart kid. I'm sure she can handle cyberspace. In this respect, she's more your daughter than mine. Install if you want, but I'm out. No, I have no idea who Tomo is. You're supposed to be in charge. If you can't control your own office spam, maybe you should get someone who can? Good lord, that was tough right off the bat. Huge favor to ask, can you pick up Kendra up a bit early tonight? George and I have theater tickets and the show starts earlier than we thought. We're swamped here today, I'm not sure I can get away early, can you drop her off here? Fine, we'll drop her off at the Abacus, it's only heavy midtown traffic and 40 blocks out of our way. Ugh. I got it, I can play the tune from Trollgate, no sheet music or anything, I'll play it for you this weekend. I understand the frustration, Mr. Hackins, but I have to ask you to stop phoning our office. We're just as concerned with finding Officer Piero and Kentra as you are. This is our job. As soon as we know anything, you'll be the first to know. I know we don't see eye to eye, but what kind of monster do you take me for? I had nothing to do with whatever happened to Leah, and I would never harm that little girl. I'll assume it's fear and frustration, and possibly alcohol talking, and leave it at that. Okay, so this is the whole, the whole thing, huh? Anything else? Oh, 
go through the trash. There's nothing in there. Nope. It will take forever to go through all this stuff. I can see a bit of Union Square, but not much else. It looks like this office is also used as a storage room. Hmm. I think that might have been everything. Hi again. Mm hmm. Do you have any copies of the Parental Eye software? Parental Eye? Yeah, we got plenty of those left. They didn't sell very well. I guess people don't like to spy on their children, but me, I don't judge. Anyway, we got a bunch behind the counter. That'll be fourteen ninety nine. Do you take debit cards? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Glad to take debit cards. Thanks. Sure. Okay, we got Parental Eye software, huh? According to the back of the box, this allows you to monitor another computer for suspicious activity. All you have to do is install it on the computer you want to monitor and configure it so another computer can read it. There are all sorts of disclaimers and government warnings on the back too. I don't think this is entirely legal. The label on the key reads, Leah. So... What do we do here with this? Can we install it on the computer? Hold on, let's see. Hmm, seems like a pretty standard installation. Give me a second. All right, it's ready to go. Oh, can we actually log on to Kendra's computer from here? Welcome to Parental Eye. It doesn't look like Kendra has any emails on her computer, but if she gets any, I suppose I can use this piece of software to read them. Hmm. Okay. Well... What do we need to do now? Maybe we should go talk to KK. Because we can actually get into the house now. That did it. It's about time. I'm freezing out here. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and terrify the girl. It's freezing in here, and it's not from the cold. Oh, good. You feel it, too. I was worried it was just me. What is it? I don't know. Nothing nice, that's for sure. The label on the key reads, Emil. Is that going to allow us to go into Emil's house, maybe? Or his apartment? Just some linens and old chinaware. Nothing relevant that I can see. No signature on the painting. Probably done by a relative or something. Looks like a cordless phone. It's an old photograph of the Manhattan skyline. Let's have Rosa go through everything here. It's a refrigerator. It's covered in magnets and drawings. It says KK the Troll. Mm-hmm. Oh, this might be a character from her video game. Okay. KK the troll. That probably is going to come in handy. A vase of flowers. No signature. Can we go upstairs? Oh, we're going. Just a sparse and empty bedroom. I don't think there's anything useful up here. Into the basement. It looks like a fuse box. It's in much better shape than the last one I saw. Oh, that's true. It seems to be in perfect working order. I wonder why all the lights are off. I was wondering if Rosa could pick that up. That, that, that triggers me, seeing that piece of paper on the ground and we can't it actually... Looks like someone's been doing some DIY. It's just a shelf. There's nothing on it. A bare light bulb in one of those plastic cages that builders use. Yeah, I don't see any light switch or anything. Wait a minute, can we close the door? Oh, nope. 
Thought the light switch may be behind the door. A cheap reproduction painting of a sad-eyed woman. Too cheesy for the bathroom, I guess. An ad for a sports car. A plastic Christmas tree. There's a lot of dust on it. Was it even used last December? A child's broken bicycle. Air freshener and bug spray. I think I'll pass. It's not exactly the weather for bike riding. Okay. Doesn't look like there's... A little basement window. Anything here for Rosa, either. Well... Let's see what happens here. Joey, come in here for a sec. Relax, I'm here. Just need to see. A little kid definitely drew this. I'm guessing it's a self-portrait. You'd be right. It's a Valentine's Day card. It says, for a special daughter. It's very sweet. It's cute, I guess. I never played with many dollhouses. That's okay. Neither do I. None of my dolls fit in there anyway. Okay, KK seems to be rather chill with this situation. Hi, Kendra? <coughs> Excuse uh -huh. me. I'm a friend of Joey. You met him earlier? Oh, cool. Anyway, I should practice now. Okay. Hi, Kendra? Uh-huh. If you're willing to talk to Joey, you can talk to me as well. We're friends. Um, I really need to practice. Sorry. It's a smiling stuffed octopus. His name is Cute Thulu. Aww. A stuffed panda bear. Looks like it's been played with a lot. She's Pandona the Giant. Her home planet is the Globe Ball, but she's too big to go back. So she stays here. The shirt has a little heart on it. Cute, I guess. I don't know a lot about pianos, but it seems to be in decent shape. A stuffed globe. I used to have one. I stared at it for hours. I just throw it around the room. It doesn't bounce too well. That teddy bear isn't terribly well cared for. You sound like my mother. Well, you know, we got Griff the P.I. bear. The snow's still coming down pretty fast. Hmm, it's not turning on. Power's been out. Sorry. Hmm. So how do we get power back in? Joey, get in here. What is it? I have a question, Joey. What's going on? Kendra was a fan of an online game called Trollgate. I wonder what it's like. Do we really have time to play games? If it gives us a clue, then yes. I didn't even think about that. Um... Oh, we got new mail. What? Um... Nishanti! Hello from the Kerala backwaters. It is hot here. But at least there's lots of cool lakes. Good thing Moti can swim. How's the weather in New York? Hope you're keeping warm. I know I am. Nishanti. Good. Good, 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 good. I was wondering what happened to her. What was it? Trollgate? Official press release. Trollgate now available for the MyPhone. Now you can explore the city of Neb and fight the galloping hordes of Shinoya from anywhere. The family-friendly MMO Trollgate is now available for the MyPhone. So the trolls on the go, download the free app below. Here we go, Trollgate. New game? Attention fellow trolls, our servers are temporarily down. Typical. Whether it be a sneak Shinoyan attack, an um, Elmala spell, or an infestation of Whittakins, our gates have to remain firmly closed while we get things working again. Troll mail and chat logs are still available, but access to the city of Neb is unavailable until further notice. The mayor of Neb has all the goblin engineers working around the clock to get things working again. Login? Oh. 
KK. Enter your password. Forgot password? Please answer the security question below. What is your mother's maiden name? Um... Wait. Is it... I guess we could just try Piero. KK Piero Your password has been emailed to you. Nice. Okay, and we oh, I see. We get to use the software back at the electronics store. Hmm. It's kind of interesting that KK would use Piero as her maiden. Well, no, I guess it's her OG. Back here. Hello, Bob. This was clever. I think more people would be attuned to using parental software these days. I'm sure a lot of people do. One new email. Okay, let's go. Message. Thank you for contacting Trollgate support. Your password is... Pusini. Well, you're welcome to keep this password. We do recommend that you change it, just in case. Thanks for playing, Trollgate staff. Okay. Uh, P U C C. I am no stranger to the MMOs, as those who have followed this channel know. Welcome back, KK. Chat log. Ooh. Gain access to an online game. Online troll, Achivo. Trollmo. Hey, what district are you in? Whitakin, you? I'm close by. I'll join you. Yo, what you up to? Not much, playing from my dad's office. He's working late today. Oh, doesn't he work at the Abacus? Get him to hook us up with some stuff. <laughs> no. A Shinoyan thief stole all my gold. Maybe your mom can arrest him. Let me ask her. She says, did that theft occur in Midtown? No. So noisy. Huh? Downstairs, construction guys in the basement. What are they doing? No idea. Okay, we're raiding over in Laganzi Hills. You want in? Nah, I'm at the library. I should pro probably should log off. You're playing at the library? Shh. I remember using the library for internet access. Basement construction's finished. There's a big hole in the wall. Really? What's in there? Nothing. At all. Mom's really been acting weird lately, to be honest. Hugs. Yo, think your dad could hook me up with a new phone? <clears throat> Mine's old and about to die. I told you to stop asking me about that stuff. Sorry. Hey, Govanite attack over here on Grundy Go Grotto. You want in? Mom blocked the big hole with a shelf. Really? At least the hole is gone. I guess. Anyway, I'm on my way. So that's what the basement is for. Okay. I see, I see. Now we can see what the creepiness is all about. I hope it's not, do we, I hope we don't find like bodies. But let's see. Because we actually haven't found any like like bodies, like uh, other than the um, Austin, of course, or people who like freshly die. Ugh, it's not moving. 
Who are you? What? Hello? Leah? Is that you? That's Officer Piero, and you don't get to ask questions. You can't see it, but there's a Bushnell 22 millimeter rifle aimed right at your head. Step into the middle of the room now. Good. Now turn around. Face the shelf. Now I repeat, who are you? This took a turn. I'm Rosangela Blackwell. I'm here to help you. Help me? Lady, you have no idea what I'm up against. What kind of help do you think you can offer? I'm Rosangela Blackwell. I'm the bestower. The bestower? You're the bestower? You? As far as I know. Thank God. You have no idea. No idea what it's been like. Hiding in this little panic room. Waiting. Not knowing. Not knowing what? What exactly is going on? Wait. You mean George didn't tell you? No. He... He died before he could tell me anything. Died? George is dead? Yes. I'm sorry. Did you save him? His ghost? Spirit? Or whatever? No. Leah? Sorry. I... We were close. Towards the end. He was a good person. A bit lost, maybe, but we all were. He didn't deserve that. Hell, none of us do. Where are you? Behind the wall. In a little room. The room has been specially sealed. Nothing physical or spiritual can harm us in here. We have enough supplies to last us a few more months. But we probably won't need it now that you're here. Yeah, it's like, we? Leah, I need you to tell me what happened. Of course. George didn't tell you. He couldn't have told you. He won't be telling anybody anything ever again. Leah, please. Yes, I know. It's just hard to say. I mean... Who could I tell? Who would believe me? Emil? Corey? Sam? God, they must be worried sick. There was no time to say goodbye, but at least we're safe in here. Oh, I've got a bad feeling. Sorry, did you say we? Is someone else in there with you? Yes, my little Kendra. I didn't want her to get mixed up in all this, but I'm going to save her too if I can. Leah, Kendra is... Kendra is dead. I'm sorry. I know that. Of course I know that. But sometimes I can pretend she's just sleeping. She's still. So still. But her spirit is still with me. I can't see her, but I can feel her. Sense her. It helps. God. Leah, are you sure Kendra's spirit is in there? Of course. She has to be. I had to bring her here with me. I had to keep her spirit safe. Safe from... Whatever happened to George, to the others, in here with me, she's safe. She is safe, isn't she? Okay, well, I can kind of understand her logic, at least a little bit. Of course. She's in there with you. She's safe. No, something is wrong. Even behind a wall of reinforced steel, I can hear it in your voice. Leah. The name is Officer Piero, and I ask you once again... Is she safe? I can't say if she's safe or not, but she's not in there with you. What? How? How can you know that? I... Well, you know who I am. What I can do. I saw her. Kendra. Her ghost, I mean. She's not in there with you. I'm sorry. You saw her. That means they wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't dare, would they? Hold my daughter's soul for ransom? That's sick. Her soul is fine. For the moment. She's upstairs in her room. Oh, thank God. Listen to me. My daughter is dead, and I'm thanking God. I can't do this much longer. You must think I'm horrible. You'll help her, won't you? That's what you do, right? Yes. That's what I do. Jeez. I really need you to tell me what happened. I can't help you if you don't tell me. Help Kendra first. I'm sorry, but she has top priority. I feel bad for George and the others, but this is Kendra. Damn everyone else. Help her, then I'll tell you everything you need to know. Can you give me anything else to go on? I told you. Help her, then I'll tell you everything you need to know. We can try to bring Kendra's ghost down here. You can talk to her if you want, 
That might help her. God, no. You have to get her spirit away from this house, away from me, as soon as possible. I can't put her at risk. She might be dead, but I can't risk that. Anything but that. Why don't you come out? We can work together. No. You saw what happened to George. I step out of this room and they get me. And if Kendra is here when that happens, no, I, I won't risk it. Once she's safe, I'll come out and damn the consequences. Now they do have agents in the real world too, so. I'm going to leave now, Leah. I'll be back when, well, I'll be back. Just one question before you go. How is she? Does she know that she's, you know? No, but she will. That's part of how it works. They come to terms with it, and then they leave. I see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to do this. This whole thing just spiraled out of control. Yeah, it always does. Uh, you spiraled out of control is definitely the key word here. I did not expect that. All right, guys. Well, um, Leah is alive. Whether she's sane is another matter. But I guess we got to try and convince Kendra. Well, we were going to do that anyway, but now the stakes are definitely higher. So we'll go ahead and call it here and pick it up in the next episode. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.